Yo, Dry Polar Bear. Another league, another awakened sextant rolling video. Guys, it's still profitable. It's always profitable because who wants to roll sextants in their hideout? Maybe you do. We'll talk about everything you need to know, how profitable it is, how you're going to sell your compasses because we actually have a new method to do that and it makes it easier than ever. Dude, I almost didn't want to make this video because I feel bad if more people do this. <laughs> <laughs> because of how easy it is, all right? But, no, I actually don't feel bad. But, you know, I salute the sextant rollers because God bless all the compass hoarders and whatnot posting to the TFT. I mean, we need them in the same way we need heisters. We're going to talk about all of that. But first, big, huge shout out to JMS for creating. JMS from the Discord, JMS on Twitch. I'll have his Discord linked in the description. He's a tech guy. I don't know, any tech people? You know, hit him up, dude. Hit him up. Uh, hit up his LinkedIn. Send him a Discord me message. Give him a job or something. I don't know. Okay, but this guy's insane because he made an automated sextant pricing sheet for me. He is pricing the compasses automatically by pulling the prices from TFT, taking the weights, making the weight value. You know, it calculates everything for you. So I don't need to go in and modify a whole Google sheet just to update the prices by looking up on the Path of Exile trade site and finding, you know, what I think the true price is and then going from that. And then it's not even like the TFT price. No, it's boom. I open this, I click refresh every day. It's going to refresh for you guys. Thanks to JMS. So what's the skinny on the compasses? The skinny is if you can buy compasses at 3.5, whoopsies, what did I just do? If you can buy compasses at 3.5, then you are going to make 1.58 chaos every single sextant you click. Every single one. That is with no cheap mods. So that is taking out, and this is another nice part of this sheet now. This is something you can even adjust and make it 4 chaos, 5 chaos. This is not blight not metamorph not the essence ones which do sell right essence sells blight maybe not so much uh but i've sold all of my essence uh there are like some shrine ones but we're blocking shrines so uh unidentified maps maybe that sells right uh, map quality to rare all this stuff right the 4c ones are the ones that kind of sell uh, a lot easier right gloom shrine if you didn't block shrines Magic pack size, map 20 quality. People use this for corrupted maps. Uh, Nico, I, I don't know who buys Nico, but it's 4C. You know, maybe just don't do that compass one. But all these other ones seem fine. Uh, 1.58. If you include all the random crappy ones, it becomes 3.6 chaos per click. But then you're having to sell a lot of random things. Now, I would take essences, right? That one's That one actually sells. Essences are actually a good one. But all this other stuff, I don't know if any of these actually are going to sell at all. But, you know, I would take at least essences, right? Bump that one up. Uh, but, yeah, isn't that sick? It's automatic. I'm going to refresh this every day. If you want, you can make a copy of it. But then you have to go to extensions. You have to go to app scripts. You have to accept permissions. And that might be a little bit scary. Uh, but you can, if anything, just make your own copy and update uh, a few of the numbers, uh, like the sext and price or whatnot, if you want to do that. But, uh you know, it's only going to update when I refresh it. So I'm just going to refresh it every day. It's so easy. I'm going to, you know, in previous leagues, it's like, when did Tripolar Bear last update this? Uh, when did he do this? I'm just going to click refresh at the start of every day. Boom. It's updated every single day now. Sextant rolling. I did it on stream. I rolled 2,100 awakened sextants. I spent 8,000 chaos on these because I bought 650 compasses from Kirak. He was, he was, he was having a good day. Okay. 650 chaos randomly to Kirak. 8k chaos in total. I made around 17 divines. Maybe it, it, it was like 17 to 20, but I kept some of the compasses because I knew, you know, I kept like a, a lot of compasses because I knew I was going to use them, right? I'm not going to sell all of my hunted trader, magic pack size, abyss, uh, delirium mirror or delirium rewards uh, if I plan on using those later, right? Why would I sell them just to buy them back? Uh, so it was about 17 divines profit. Now that came out about to expected for what the sextant prices and the profit per the compasses were, uh, which is pretty nice. 
Now I had a big sample size, right? 2000. If you're, if you have like only enough currency to roll 200 compasses, I don't really know if it's going to be worth it. Right. Unless this is something you're doing at work. Uh, you know, this shouldn't be something that's your main income until you can really start rolling. You want to have enough where you can be rolling and selling and you have this constant supply of currency coming in and then a constant uh, supply of like you being able to roll and buy uh, even more awakened sextants and all of that stuff, right? Uh, you know, you only got a couple hundred. Uh, you're just going to be, you're, you're going to use all your currency and then you're going to sit there, right? Just go farm some logbooks instead, unless your build is dumpstered, but you still somehow have currency and you don't feel like fixing your build. I don't know. Okay. Some people are there. Some people. <laughs> Some people are there. Uh, yeah, like I said, it pro it, this pulls the prices from TFT. Uh, and speaking of, so how do you sell these, right? Uh, I sold them. It was actually very easy. And that has been a big pressure point, a big pain point. And why this, I actually rolled 2000 this league <laughs> instead of just saying that it's very profitable because it obviously is. You could just do the math, right? Uh, and if it wasn't profitable, then how is anybody rolling awakened sextants and making money on compasses, right? Why would anybody be selling these, right? Every league is profitable. Of course it's profitable. It always is going to be profitable because if it's not, then it becomes, right? If it's not profitable, nobody buys the sextants. If nobody buys them and rolls them, then the price of them go up, right? The price of the sextants to buy them goes down and the price of the compasses that are there goes up. And then it's like, wow, now we make money again. All right. It's, 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 of, it's just common sense that this is profitable because nobody wants to do this if they're not making money, <laughs> right? Like, why would you do this if you're not making currency? You're not, you're not going to do this and lose money. Uh, yeah. So if you right now, I did awaken sections at 3.5. Uh, this is like two something. This is like three something. I went all the way down to 50 per somewhere around 50 per a divine. This guy has 2000 of them. Uh, this guy has 500 of them. Uh, you can go a little bit less than it's like 700, right? But somewhere around uh, 50 per div, or it can even go to four chaos. If you buy in chaos is about the price, right? 3.5 to four. Uh, but let's talk about how you sell them. This tool, shout out to Zach, shout out to the PUE stack dev or the PUE stack dev team. Okay. I'm sure it's more than one guy. Uh, dude, this site is crazy. I believe this was launched mid last league. This thing is going to revolutionize you loving the forbidden trove, you loving having a bunch of bubblegum, everything, and you just raking in currency. Look at this, this site, you log in with your discord. It's like the discord authentication or whatever, right? You don't actually give them your email. It's like the little window pops up and you do the same with PUE. So it pulls your stash data and it lets you post to, to discord. And so what this does is it scans your stash tab. Last night I farmed skittering delirium orbs. I got 37 divines and scarabs. Now, do I want to sit there and do 400, 500, 2000 trades with my hundreds and hundreds of scarabs that I farmed up last night? No. What I want to do is I want to take my tabs, right? I select my tab that the scarabs were in. Then I click scarab. And then there's a value multiplier here. I take this and since scarabs are pretty valuable, right? When you bulk sell them on TFT, people are doing that so that they can price them themselves and make a little bit of money. Of course, uh, I got away with a 115%. I tried 120. It didn't work. I got away with 115%. So I had 37 div according to Pee Wee Ninja or whatever prices, right? Uh, I sold them for 41 divines. It's 43 now because divs changed in price since last night. Uh, but I sold them all. One guy gave me 41 divines for literally all of my scarabs. It was so beautiful. It was so nice. All right. And you can do the same, not with compasses, right? People aren't going to buy literally all your compasses, but you can do all the same with things like heist contracts with log books. I did the same with catalysts. Fossils are another good one. Delirium orbs would be super easy, but you got to be careful. Those are much, much, much higher in price than Pee Ninja would lead you to believe. Now, the same is kind of true with scarabs, right? I got a little scarab, but whatever. Okay, compasses. We got to talk about compasses. 
You do the same with compasses. Right here, I, I click grab items. It's gonna re-get my stash tab. I don't have that many uh, compasses left right now, right? I have some of these that are pretty good. I have some, I have a couple eight mods, uh, you know, whatever. And the thing is, it, I don't actually have 18 divides, right? Because I don't have anything. This is just an example. Uh, if you don't like the prices here, right? Let's say that you're a big baller. You got those fat stacks of divines. You get to charge a lot extra for your compasses, right? We have guy A. Guy A has two delirium reward bars fill faster. He can sell at 35 chaos a piece. Guy B has 50 delirium bar rewards fill faster. He gets to sell at 45 or 50 C each. He gets to charge an extra 10 or 15 chaos per compass because he has so many and he is going to save people so much time. That's what this is all about. It's saving time for you, saving time for the buyers, saving time for the sellers, right? Saving time for everybody so we can get back to doing whatever it is that we're doing in service of the almighty economy. Okay. Thank you, Path of Exile Economy. And thank you to developers like the Pee Wee Stack Team. And uh, yeah, just like, geez, look at this. Okay. So you can just, you know, you can up the price, right? Let's say you have a bunch of eight mod. I only have two. I, I, I probably got to sell at 79, right? I don't have a bulk. I can't sell that many. Uh, let's say I had like 50 of them. I could probably get away with 90, right? If I had like 20, 30, 40, 50, I could get away with adding an extra 10 chaos. This tool will remember it on your refresh. It will remember your in-game name, which is what you put here. And when you are ready, right, all you do... Oops, let's go back to compass. All you do is you click post to TFT. Now I'm going to do it here as an example, and then I'm going to delete it because I don't intend to actually sell these, but you click post to TFT and it posts to the forbidden trove. And you see it has compass right here and there's a cooldown. It does a cooldown of 900 seconds, uh, right? Because the TFT has a slow mode on their discord. So this is a cooldown for how many times you can post. And if I go over, if I go over to the bulk compass section on TFT, I can see that there has been a post that pings me. That's to let me know that the, you know, the, the post worked and to show my compasses right here. Right. And so I don't actually intend to sell these. So I'm going to delete that message. And now it's deleted my post. So that's another little handy thing, right? Because it's not actually you posting. It's a bot that's kind of posting through your Discord, I believe. And then it has your in-game name. It asks you so that you can see your post and so you know exactly where it is. Uh, but this is wild. This is some kooky stuff, right? This is like the TFT bulk trove tool, which we used to use. It was uh, bulk.tftrove.com, I think is what it, yeah. Uh, it's like this. This has a really slick UI, right? It looks really cute. Uh, but man, this is so much easier because this has a bar that you, right this site you have to set the price and then you have you'd have to like delete the tab and then reset a price and all that. This one has a bar, you know, you just go 70%, you know, I, I want it 70% or you can go up to like 125. It's super easy and you can just very, very quickly go through and choose like fossils, right? I grab all my fossils. If I wanted to sell all my fossils right now. I could sell them a hundred, you know, I go down to 90, maybe 85%. I get a hundred chaos stuff like this is so big and it makes it so easy to do this. Anyways, you know, use this tool, make a bunch of currency and get over that instant gut feeling in your tummy. Okay. That you have when you know that you could maybe make a little bit more currency if you just sold all these items one at a time. It's not worth it, okay? Oh my gosh, it's not worth it. Just go back and play the game, dude. Far more, blast more, get XP, have more chances at dropping mage bloods, all of that, okay? But yeah, this is Awakened Sex and Rolling. Thank you, JMS. Thank you, Pee Wee Stack Dev. Thank you, Zach. And uh, yeah, God, God bless our Sex and Rollers. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace, homies. Like, subscribe. Bye.